And they're really cute, basic. Um, they're cute and basic. That's all I got. Symmetrical tattoo or something. A lot of fails in this haul. Emerald green wide leg pants from Zara a couple months ago. These just look like garbage on me. Nice like fall-ish colors in there. Off the shoulder sweater. Like a men's wear hair and pants. I'm here for it. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie. And today we're gonna do a haul video. And I think I have things from, got some H&M, some Target, some Zara, a couple other little random things, anthropology pants that I've already talked about, but I'll show you in motion. Um, just a lot of things. And a lot of these are have been purchased over the last couple months, so this wasn't like a big, um, all at once purchase never is a lot of fails in this haul but I like to keep it real and be honest and say like this is why I thought I was gonna like it and this is why I don't and so sometimes that stuff is helpful too so I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this video because usually I film myself wearing the clothes as I'm talking about them and I film myself wearing the clothes um, in my dining room because we have white paneling so it's a nice clean backdrop to show you whatever I'm trying on. Um, my dining room looks like an explosion right now because <laughs> I mentioned before we're um, in the process of adding a small mudroom on the back of our house and so I've had to take everything out of our closets um, and our first floor and everything is just like <sighs> just all over the dining room so I might just do it right here we're gonna make work and another thing real quick before I get into these items is I purchased four items which you might have seen in last week's YouTube video I did a thrifting haul with my friend fashion blogger currently Carrington and so if you haven't seen that I will link that up above whichever side it goes on we found a lot of really great things I purchased four different items and so yeah check that video out if you haven't seen it and I got a lot of stuff to go over. Let's start with H&M, because I have that in front of me right now. So when I was in H&M recently, um, I saw this sweater on a mannequin, and it's sort of sort of wrinkled right now, um, but it's just a blush pink, um, sort of off the shoulder sweater, and it's one of those where you can sort of wear it totally off the shoulder, or you can scrunch it up a little bit more. It has like kind of a three quarter length sleeve. I think I purchased this in a large. I probably could have done a medium, but they didn't have one around, um, and I always err on going bigger than smaller. So yeah, I just really liked the color and um, kind of the off shoulder sweater look. So liking this one um, and when I checked out at the register I saw this scarf and I actually have a favorite scarf from H&M that I got many years ago that has horses on it and so I thought oh this might be a fun update that one's really sort of brown toned and so I thought this is sort of a lighter color I love this particular like this is a square a smaller square scarf and I love this because you can just you know tie it this way or tie it even a little bit tighter or like you know wrap it around and wear it real tight on your neck which I usually don't do because I kind of feel like I have a short neck and so that doesn't really work well love this style of scarf and I love the pattern and the colors in it and I thought that it worked really nice for fall while I was there I also saw this sweater which I was so happy to see in person because I think I had this saved online in my cart um, and so I was surprised to see it in the store. They had this in a couple different colors. I forget what the colors were, but I just really like this real big um, V right here. And yeah, the back is just a plain um, knit and not much to say about that. It's a basic that I love and I've already worn it. Okay, so this next thing I'm so excited about. So it's no secret, I love menswear. Um, this is a pair of paper bag trousers in a check like a window pane check they're navy um they're not particularly wide on the bottom so they're definitely a little bit more like big up at the top um but they tie around the waist these are a size 10 and a lot of times at h&m i am a 10. i tried these in the eight the eight actually fit better however there is this check i think this is almost like a slight drop crotch which I love, like a menswear harem pant. I'm here for it. The size eight, like the pattern and the crotch area, like didn't align right because there's a seam and it just looked really strange. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go with this one better because it just was a little bit bigger, but 
just made it a little bit more drop crotchy. I'm not mad about that. Um, it does have kind of a slight elastic waist. In fact, I might put these on later today. I don't know. Excited about them. Few H&M accessories as well. I picked up these thicker yellowy hoop earrings. I don't know. I haven't worn them yet. I don't even know how I feel about them 100%, but I've just been super into hoops all of a sudden, so I liked those. I also picked these up, which I love because I'm loving orange a lot lately, and so this has a little bit of subtle orange in it with some gray and just some nice like fall-ish colors in there, and so I really like these ones. They look great when I wear like really orange makeup, which is my favorite. Okay, keeping on with some accessories. Um, I will mention these because I think they have them on their website. I'm not 100% sure, but um, Marie Lamode is a local boutique in Grand Rapids and she has such great clothing, but also um, some really great earrings. So I love these like olive green hexagons. Again, it's sort of like the hoopish thing, but different. So loved these for fall. And then um, again with the hoops, these tortoise shell, but they're like such a different kind of tortoise shell. Sometimes I actually don't like tortoise shell, but I, I like these ones a lot and they almost are just a neutral. They kind of go with everything. And so um, a couple of my friends, I've seen them wearing these and so I'm like, I gotta get on it. And they're super affordable. I think they were like $16 or something. Okay, let's get into a few things from Target. From Universal Thread, I picked up these basic white sneakers. I actually don't own any basic white sneakers and it's been something that's kind of been like, in my the back of my mind um, for a little while and I wasn't looking for these at Target these are actually on the wall of like hanging shoes and flip-flops um, and but I saw and I don't normally look at any of those shoes because they all seem like super cheap disposable like flip-flops and whatnot and like slides and slippers and stuff so I normally don't even look at that wall well it turns out I might be missing out on some things because these were on that wall but they were on a bench like down one of the aisles and so I was like oh where is this from I've never seen this before and then I was like oh it's it's on the wall of things you never look at <laughs> and so yeah I just really liked them they're really cute basic um they're cute and basic that's all I got okay another thing that I got a size too large because <laughs> that's all they had was I don't know if you've checked out um Target's new line prologue um I did a little try on um on my insta stories and it's it's definitely like very workwear, but it's interesting because a lot of it is really boring basics um, and sort of boring neutral tones, but then they have like some interesting jackets and some interesting like faux wrap skirts and faux leather tops. So there are some interesting items and like basics with a twist within all the other boring basics. So I think it's definitely something to like go through and look if you're there. Um, but I happen to see this um, like really nubby knit um, blue sweater and it's like an indigo cobalt blue which I love and so um, just really soft and cozy I got it in a large again I should have had a medium but they didn't have it but I sized up to a really big boxy sweater they also had a really beautiful brown wrap skirt but the size was like super weird that's that particular skirt fit really really snug on me but I've heard other people say that the line runs really big and so basically the line runs all over the place I think the sizing is like all over the place I don't know if they like rushed to get this line out or something um, which normally isn't a target thing but I don't know so proceed with caution but definitely some pieces worth looking at okay the one thing that I have from anthropology I've actually already talked about these in a favorites video um, these green emerald green wide leg pants from anthropology are my favorite um, these ones I got a medium in and they're just my favorite type of really drapey flowy um wide leg pants they hit right at the ankle length and so i'm excited to wear these into fall because i think they will pair very well with um, ankle boots and um maybe even like an oxford with a sock underneath a little like check sock i don't know um but yeah these have just become a fast favorite I've already worn them more times than I can count. Okay, so let's get into the Zara stuff. So I made a decent sized Zara purchase of which most of it's getting returned with the exception of this top. Um, I really liked this top because I love wearing um, this color lip color in the fall. So like a burgundy wine color. And I thought that it would look really nice paired with that. I'm not wearing as deep as it could be today, 
um, but a little bit of a wine lip. Symmetrical tattoo or something, and it's velvet. So yeah, I just really like this. Um, oh, this I had actually bought from Zara a couple months ago, but I think it's still on their website in red also, black and red, so I'm gonna show you. Um, Karen Britchick, who I love following on YouTube and Instagram, she's a great blogger as well. She has been a lover of many different beaded bags, and so I've been on the lookout for a beaded bag for a while, and um, I just really like this one. And she has a couple beaded bags that are really expensive. <laughs> and so when I saw this one hit Zara, I was like, yes, I'm gonna get this. And now she actually has this one as well. So that was kind of cool. Oh boy, there are just so many things that I bought here that did not go well. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try to quickly go through it. Um, so high-waisted wide leg pants um, that don't have pockets on the front. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's just not meant for me. These ones I actually bought in a size 10. I probably could have bought them in an 8 now that I like am thinking back on it. Um, but this was like a high-waisted wide leg unfinished hem black denim. Like I think I'm just not meant for wide leg high-waisted this type of material without pockets in the front. Maybe that's the takeaway from this video for myself is stop doing this. This just looked like garbage on me. Okay, the other thing that I bought that I actually didn't even know it was gonna be this material was this mock turtleneck. Um, it's actually kind of like a dressy, um, crepey material. I thought it was cotton. I never read the description of the things. I just look at them and I just, do I visually like the way they look? Yes, I get them. This I bought in a size medium. And the reason that I didn't like it, I liked the high-low a little bit, but the reason that I didn't like it is it was a little bit longer than I would have wanted it to be, like, because it's long enough that it makes me want to tuck it into high-waist pants, but it doesn't tuck well into high-waist pants because of the high-low, um, so I wish it was just a little bit more cropped, and then this is almost just, like, too wide altogether that I just didn't love the look of it, and something about the neck, the mock neck, too. I just... Just, I didn't, I wanted to like it all. I just, I wanted everything to be different <laughs> on it. But I like that idea of it. It just didn't, it just didn't look right. Okay, another thing that I purchased was this dark charcoal sweater. So it just has like a big rib to it and these buttons down the like asymmetrical side, which I thought was kind of cool. And then this big, thick um, turtleneck. <sighs> Turns out I, I would have liked it if not for the, turtleneck. The turtleneck basically is like a neck brace and it just basically looks like it's engulfing my face and yeah but it's really super soft nice stretchy material and the buttons are sort of slightly like tortoisey marbleized wood look or something which I think is cool but it, yeah just the turtleneck is all wrong and I I can't do it. Okay, something else that I bought that I was thinking would be good for maybe a little bit into fall, but more of next spring and summer. I've been loving, you know, the rattan straw look has been everywhere on handbags and accessories. I do have one pair of rattan slides from Target that I really love. They're from Universal Thread. I've worn them so much. They just became a great staple in my wardrobe over the summer that I didn't expect. And I think it's because they kind of go with everything because they're just that neutral, like straw-like material. So I saw these on the website and thought, oh wow like a mule version of this this would be great for spring this would be great in a little bit of the beginning of fall um but they really remind me of like the shoes that you used to be able to buy that were like net in chinatown with like sequins on them if you ever lived near chinatown you know exactly what i'm talking about um they just kind of weren't the right shape online they looked beautiful but in real life i was like that's going to be a no before i even tried them on it was like no not gonna work so these are going straight back and the final thing i am so bummed about so i'm into the emerald pants you know i'm into the emerald pants i actually have an emerald um coat from top shop that i bought two years ago that i love that's the exact same color as that and I saw this on the website and was like, oh, I don't need that because I already own a wool coat in emerald green. But this felt more like a lighter weight blazer coat, like sort of a hybrid. Um, and I loved like the double breasted. I loved the pockets. It just looked like more of a menswear version. And as I'm looking at it in the camera, you might think that this looks like I thought it looked online, which was more like greenish. I guess if you see here, you can see this is more teal. Um, in person, oh, again, I like it if it were different. <laughs> so the material, first of all, is like this 
slight, like, kind of, I don't know, it's a rib, but it's like a casual rib because it's not completely, it's kind of like wavy. So that I kind of already didn't love, but the color is just, I mean, I love the fit. I love the, I love like all the little kind of menswear details. Um, I even love that the buttons don't go straight down. They're sort of at an angle. I just, the color, oh, what size did I buy? I bought a large. I want to like it so much. Oh, it makes me mad, but I shouldn't keep a $119 coat because the color is wrong. Again, I feel like the color you're seeing looks like a decent green color, but in real life it leans way more teal than I want it to, which to me makes it look like cheaper or more dated and I don't know, I just can't. It, it bums me out because I really want to like it, but I just feel like it's slightly off. It's just slightly off, just a tad, just a skosh. That is the good, bad, and ugly of my recent fall haul. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you again in another video real soon. Bye.